to those who are watching, I'd like to welcome you to Evangelical Ecumenical Church worldwide. God is doing a great thing in the Ecumenical Church, and I pray that God will bless you for the man of this hour. And I thank God that we walk together, and they say, God said we're two or more walk together. You know, it's a blessing. And I thank God for my husband and I, you know, for doing the word of God, for getting the word of God out, because God is coming back soon. And right now, I want to introduce you to my husband, John Maurice Jones, Pastor John Maurice Jones. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Let, me, let us pray. Father God, I come before you humbly, Lord God. Yes, God. Speaking to your people all over the world and in this congregation. Father, let them not hear me. Yes, God. But let them hear him, thus says the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, I speak blessings. Yes. And your mercy and your goodness upon this congregation yes, God. worldwide. Yes, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity. Yes, Lord Jesus. To preach the gospel. Jesus yes, Christ. Amen. In Jesus name, amen. Our first lesson, our first uh, part of the sermon is going to come from Isaiah. If I can get Isabel to read Isaiah 49.1, Isabel. Listen, O owl, unto me, and how can you keep from far? The Lord had called me from the womb. From the bowel of my mother have he made many of my name. Now, exactly who is Isaiah talking about? He's not talking about himself. He's talking about Jesus. Amen? Because the Lord has called him from the womb, from the bowels of his mother, has he made mention of his name. Wonderful. Father, even told Mary and Joseph his name would be Jesus. Amen? Read chapter, verse 2. And he have made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand have he hid me and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver have he hid me. That's right. Because see, Jesus word, the sword, is a sharp two-edged sword, cutting and dividing asunder. Amen? And also, his quiver. That's where he, God put him as a child and then brought him out. Amen? Let me just give you some uh, word on Isaiah 49, 1-7. Before the servant, the Messiah, was born, God had chosen him to be in the light of the gospel, mm -hmm. the message of salvation. That's the light of the gospel, the word. Acts 13, 47. Christ offers salvation to all nations of the world. His apostles began the missionary movement to take to the ends of the world. Missionary work continues today. Matthew 28, 18, 20. Taking the light of the gospel to all nations. Do you support taking the gospel to all nations? Amen. Do you support yes. evangelism and ministry efforts? Do you do it with your money and your talents? or other resources to help the gospel. Amen. God wants you to be involved in taking the gospel everywhere. He wants you to be involved in taking the gospel to your family, to your children, to your neighbor, and to your job. We've all been called. We're all called. We're all called. You are called. Are you going to answer the call? Or are you going to answer the call Amen. 
Are you going to share the gospel of Jesus Christ yes, with others? Because yes. see, God is faithful. Amen? Amen. If he begins a work in you, he's more than able to finish it. No matter what it is. Also, I want to read this verse. Let me find it. Or it must be in the other, another verse. Let's go to Psalms 40. Let me know when you got it. Amen. And I'll let you know when I got it. Because in Psalms, we give praise to God. In songs, we build ourselves up. And we build the Lord up. Just give me a second. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. You say, you look at me and you say, I'm unprepared, right? But it's not me. I'm just a servant of the Most High God. And he told me to share the gospel. And I'm doing the best I can. But he empowers me as he empowers you to go forth and to share the love of Christ with all men and women and children. Because if you don't share what God has given you to share, people are going to wind up in hell. We're going to wind up in hell because our, in a, our unwillingness to share the gospel. We're all ambassadors. We all are chosen. Come on. Mm. What did I say? Psalms 40? Yeah, Psalm 40, 1 through 11. I know it is. I just want to give you certain verses out of that. Psalm 40. He put a new song. He has put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear. And trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man that maketh the Lord his trust. And respecteth not the proud. Nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O oh Lord, my God, are thy wondrous, wonderful works, which thou have done, and thy thoughts, which are usward. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. It will be clear, and speak of them. They are more than can be numbered. Verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Yea, thy law, law is within my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. I have not refrained my lip, O oh Lord. Thou knowest I did not hide thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. We, the people of God, the children of God, is his great congregation. You know, people are on Facebook talking about the Lord. But are they answering the questions? Or are they just 
repeating stuff? Are they sincere or are they repeating stuff that somebody else wrote? Are they truly in love with God? Because, see, God is faithful to us. And once we receive salvation, once we say, Father God, I know that Jesus is your son and that he died for us on the cross and he went to hell and came back with the keys so that we could have eternal life and was seen after the third day walking and talking to men and women on the earth. Do you believe that? If you believe that, then you have salvation. And when you have salvation, God has started a work in you. And he's going to complete the work that he started because he's more than able to complete it. And you, children of God, are required and are really from your love to go forth and tell people about God. Tell your children, tell your wives, tell your husbands, tell your co-workers, and tell your friends that we say that we serve an awesome God. Amen? Just think, if you don't go out and share the gospel with people you know and they die and you know that you had an opportunity to share and, they, and you didn't, then they wound up in hell for all eternity. As children of the Most High God, we're obligated to share the, God, the gospel. You know, and God is faithful to us. To do what he said. To give us our heart's desire. To bless us. To keep us in the palm of his ten hand. Never to let us go. And I say to all my friends. I'm not the world's best preacher. But I do love the Lord. And I'm willing to get out there. And face the world. To share what I know and what I love about the Lord. Because he has been good to me, and he'll be good to you. He has blessed me with a beautiful wife. He has blessed me with beautiful children, a beautiful home. And he supplies all my needs, financially, physically, and mentally. And he'll supply your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Because it's by his stripes we are healed. He died and came so that we would have an abundant life, that there would be no lack. All he asks you to do is be faithful and share his word with your fellow men and do what's right. Live righteous. Not because we're under law, because, but because we have been transformed. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I say unto you, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. And I thank you for this short, brief message that I've given you. And I pray the Lord that you receive it and do his will. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor.